For news from the island nation of Madagascar, it is famous for its biodiversity and a booming population. And one of the biggest issues is the use of slash and burn farming, which is threatening forests, forests, animals and ecosystems. But as more people need food, there is no easy solu solution, as Dan Ashby reports. To the untrained eye, it looks like a haven of nature. But this is actually Madagascar's biggest natural threat. This valley used to be wild, but it is now a vista of rice paddies. And the people say they need much more land. Rice is the source of Malagasy life. It's so difficult to work the rice because we need the shovel and water to work it. I need more land. I have a big family, so I need more. The outcome? A rise in slash and burn agriculture like this. Forests cleared to make way for more and more farms. And this is only the start. In the years ahead, Madagascar's population is expected to boom. People require food, and food requires land, and there will only be more pressure on Madagascar's unique wildlife and nature. That nature is a rainbow of biodiversity, thousands of species in all the colours, many of which are unique to Madagascar. But already 40% of its forests have gone, and by 2050, the population is expected to top more than 50 million people. Experts are worried that the planting of rice paddies is not sustainable. So after they do it, uh, there's no fertility on the soil. You can't uh, plant anything, and they move to another uh, part of the forest. So the, the expansion is um, really bad for the protected area. Officials and NGOs are rolling out a program combining family planning and conservation. They hope to slow the rate of slash and burn. With hundreds of critically endangered species, they need no reminding of the urgency. Because nobody wants this show to come to an end. Dan Ashby, CGTN in Sava, Madagascar.